I'm trying something very different today with this outfit. I kind of like it. The chartreuse and gold hoops that we got the other day at the thrift store. I'm trying out the wool blazer with this cable knit turtleneck sweater. I like it. It's not a bad look. I can tell you this after I've turned on the camera, it's definitely more flattering in person. I'll tell you what the true test is going to be. Let's go get some coffee, run into Tori. Hopefully she's there. She will be honest with how this outfit is. We'll know immediately. If her face goes, <gasps> then it's good. If her face goes, hmm, or hmm, it's not good. Tori, that rat. She's at Target right now, but she's gonna FaceTime me later so we can get her reaction. I gotta know what my stylish little sister thinks. Hey, I like it. You look colonial. <laughs> that hits you at a perfect length. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I like it. Sorry, I called uh, you a rat earlier. Huh? get a lampshade but then I remembered I'm literally across from a booth full of lampshades. I think this is the right shape that we want. This is the shade and it's $98, but it's half off, but half off 98. Ugh. Anybody got a good source for lampshades? I have finished doing what I need to do with the booth. I put the pine cone mirror there, the other little arch top mirror over there. And that means the old guy, Mr. Alternative, Chris Kringle. I'm hoping he's sold or maybe he's wandering around here still and someone's trying to make a decision. I mean, I just brought him in. So that was an awesome sale. Over here on this back half of the booth, added the shade to that marble lamp and it looks great. I know not everybody loves the, the white on white. It doesn't bother me very much. It's 
it's very blown out on camera, softer in person. But I'm glad to get another lamp there. The lamps seem to be doing very well when they're on this piece, especially when they have that crisp white look. I put that one mirror back in the space that we had it in. I did move that pheasant over here along with everything that was on that chippy white shelving piece. I had to distribute it amongst the cabinets and the shelves in the space that were still here. Small things just got moved around and put in different places. I absolutely love how the mid-century lamp turned out. I needed a shade. I would rather spend the money here than at Lowe's, so I'm happy with it. I know I talked about cleaning it up first before I brought it in here. I put what I think is a very affordable price on it for what it is. It was made in Italy. I found a stamp down underneath the marble piece. If somebody wants to purchase it for that price and clean it up a little more to make it more valuable, that's fine with me. I'm making what I need to make on it, even with investing in that lampshade. I'm just gonna go ahead and order some brass cleaner like I should have a long time ago anyways. If it doesn't sell here, by the time I get that brass cleaner, I'll come in, clean it up, and I'll probably re-tag it. I am very, very happy with how all that has turned out. We shifted the ladder over, hung that piece, hung the sconce. I would like to bring some stems in here to put in my little wall pocket, but that's gonna have to wait. I really need to move on. I need to do some shopping myself and I keep getting distracted by just coming in and fluffing. Ooh, actually, do I wanna put something on top of that table? Like that, chrome leaves. Yeah. Very satisfied with how it turned out. Tori saw this the other day and forgot to grab it. And as I was on my travels, I found these adorable owl marble bookends, $24.95. And then I also found this freaking fabulous. I, I just need to try it on. I need to try it. <gasps> no. I hardly ever wear red. It might be a little wide in the shoulders. It's a medium. It's a cool piece, man. And it's only $9.95 and it's a Pendleton. Let me tell you the, the booth I got out of, South of Ordinary Vintage. I could see this with, I mean, it doesn't look bad with this outfit, to be honest. For $9.95, I don't have to think about it too hard. It's gonna be a yes. I wanna try this other jacket on too. I saw this and I liked how it was cropped, but I'm worried it's gonna be too small. It's a size four. It is just a little small in the shoulder area. Ooh, it's just a little tight. Not bad. It's um, $14.50 for a cashmere jacket. And this is Zelma's booth. I don't know if she's got social. Her signature tag, Zelma's. I'm gonna try on this brown leather jacket. Yeah, no, but I like the color. The color actually looks great. It's, it's a little big on me. Ooh, that's cute. It fits actually really well. Doesn't feel too tight. I could wear this. 29. 29 for the suede, still love it. I cannot make this stuff up. Is this not the same style lines of the navy version that I'm wearing right now? Different buttons, but look, 100% wool, and it's only 10 bucks, oh my gosh. We gotta try this on right now. I had to come all the way back to my booth to, to get a good mirror. Dang it, that's so cute. I just, it's this, it's right here. It's, that is so flattering. Now the question is, do I get the black, the red, and keep the navy? So tempted, it's just such a nice piece. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. This is actually from another dealer in here. He had this uh, for sale, but I forgot to tell you guys, the last time we talked, I had like this whole plan of how I was gonna do um, that mantle on the back of the walls, that mantle shelf. And then I was gonna style like some mirrors and other things from what I had in the garage and then also that white chippy shelf. Yesterday, the day I didn't film, didn't even have a price tag on it and it sold like that. That came from the same dealer that this came from. He was just being super generous and he's, he was trying to get rid of stuff and had that and offered it to me and we just put it under the table and I was gonna come in with a price tag and put it on it, but it, it sold before I put a price tag on it. I didn't feel good about keeping 
the money because we li we didn't do anything. I, I didn't even get a chance to style it. We've made some trades and this was one of the items and it's longer. I don't know if I can get frame enough here. Let me move, let me just adjust the camera. How about, how's that sound? It is a longer piece and it's suede. It actually fits me really nice. It's maybe a little wide in the shoulders, but it's not bad. I could see myself wearing this just like this with an outfit like this maybe different earrings i have found some great things for me <laughs> look what i just found for eight dollars they have it marked as a, a brown marble dish i don't know it could be an ashtray anytime i've seen a piece like this it tends to be that more white marble also usually is like a little like there's little birds sitting on the edge i don't see anything that would make me think that it was had a pedestal at any point or, or little birds on it, I might gift it to somebody. Sometimes my brain just skips over things. And Tori called me when I was at the antique mall and was like, you spelled Charlottesville wrong, which is just so freaking embarrassing. That's and horrible. it's, I know, and it's on the thumbnail. I put an E instead of an O. Charlottesville. Well, what time are you making the thumbnail? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> too, too late to be uh, even trying to think. I didn't even put the E. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So what are you going to do? I'm just going to fix it here and then. So you can change the thumbnail without in the video? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just double check my spelling. Okay, fixed. And then I just need to add it to the video. Because we skipped filming yesterday, I didn't get to tell you my sales. So let me tell you yesterday's sales and then we'll look at today's if I sold anything. Did I sell stuff? Yes, I did. Yesterday was a really good day. Silver and pearl ball ornament for 18. A deer rack for 40. Small pearl apple ornament for three. Stars and berry garland for 22. Golden glitter ornament for 10 gold wire crown for nine, a cast iron fireplace for 36. And it's it was like a piece. It was like a vent piece. Wooden mold for 75. And then that white mantle shelf piece for 70. So that's $283 day minus that 70, $213 day. All right, now let's check out today's sales. Ooh, oh, okay. A striped sweater for 28. The painting, the portrait painting that I just took in, Oh man. For 146. Young St. Nick? Yep. Gold ball ornament for four. A bottle for three. Set of two candlestick holders for 20. A shell ornament for five. Another ornament for nine. Three shell ornaments for $5 a piece, so 15. Gold star ornament for 450. Another star ornament for 450. Round woven. It literally just says round woven for $4. And a cable knit sweater for 14. So a $257 day. I think one of those sweaters that I sold is mine. I think the $28 uh, striped sweater is Tori's. Man, December is awesome. I totally forgot to pick up my first half of the month check. We'll be in tomorrow. I'll grab it tomorrow. I am hungry. I just ordered pizza. We're about to go pick it up. All right, let's fix <laughs> this darn thumbnail <laughs> before too many people find it. It, it 10,000 people have already watched it. Oh my God. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Oh, but Jesus. And it's fixed. And it's fixed. I even spelled it correctly in the title.